Hi guys, this is lesson number 47 from our Coral Rod Training course series. In this exercise, we are going to learn how to create speed effect motion blur in Coral Draw using three different ways. As you can see in my screen, I have an image and uh, the back portion, it's blurred. It's very easy and simple to create this type of effect. If I will click on this area, you can see that it is a separate part. We intersect it, then we apply a blur effect. In the second method, we will clip that area in a shape and then we will convert that part into bitmap and then apply motion blur effect. In the third variation, the entire image we will apply motion blur and then we will use transparency tool to achieve the result in a specific part of the image. So let's see how it's done. Let's delete this part. It is selected. I will delete. For your practice purpose, you can google any of the similar image and you can try. First of all, we are going to create shape here. I will use rectangle tool and simply the area I want to blur I will just create small rectangle. This is additional object and we are going to intersect with our image. So click on pick tool while it is selected press shift key and select the image and simply click on intersect. From here we have fourth option intersect. Click on intersect now the intersected part is there. I will click on drag we have here and it is entire image we cannot apply directly motion blur effect so go back control z undo keep it in the same place now we will click outside and select this shape that we created and we can delete the intersected part is still there and it is selected go to the bitmap convert to bitmap leave all the setting as it is and then click ok now we are ready to apply motion blur effect. While it is selected, go to the effect and here we have blur and motion blur. Here we have distance, you can increase and reduce the intensity of the blur. Let's increase here the area it is affected. And under this we have direction the bike it is running in angular direction so I apply here 172 previously in your case it might be 90 or 180 so if I will apply here 90 and click on preview uncheck and then again check now it is straight vertical since it is not in the same direction so it give fake impression it doesn't look realistic so for this reason we need to give direction I set 172 and that is suitable for this image. I will apply once again. It is in this direction, angular direction. Under this here, you can select ignore pixel outside image. The first option it is checked and then click OK. So this is how simple it is. The blur effect it is applied to this image. If I will click outside, you can see from the back portion we created speed effect using blur. Same thing we can do by clipping image inside shape. I will select this and delete. Now let's create another shape. Click on pick tool and select the image. We are going to clip the same image inside this shape. But before we do that, we need to duplicate while the image is selected. Press plus key. Now we have another copy. Control Z undo to keep in the same place. While it is selected, we can right click on the image and go to power clip inside and simply click in this shape, click inside the image it is clipped. To make it sure that there is no outline, you can right click here. And if I will move it out, it looks same the way we have done before we intersected that part. But in this case, the power clip feature, it's appear here since we clip the image inside the shape. So undo. Control Z to bring it back in the same place. Repeat the same process. Go to the bitmap. Convert to bitmap. Leave all the setting as it is. Click OK. Now apply blur effect. Go to the effect. Blur. And here we have motion blur. It's OK. The same amount, same setting. And click OK. We achieve the same result by clipping image inside a shape. Let's try the third method. We are going to delete this. While it is selected, I will press delete key. Here we are going to duplicate the image. Select the image and press plus key. 
Now we have another copy. This is the front image. Since we didn't intersect and we did not clip the image in any shape, we don't need to convert into bitmap. Directly we can apply blur. We can go to the effect. Here we have blur and motion blur. Now motion blur, it will affect the entire image. And this is what exactly we need. Leave all setting as it is and then click OK. Now using transparency tool, we will reveal the area that we want to blur. So while this image is selected, we'll go to the transparency tool. The front image, actually it is affected. If I will click on drag, under this we have the original that is there. Control Z, undo. Go to the transparency tool and simply click and drag to apply linear mode. And you can see from this side, our image, it's clear. And at the back here, the blur effect, it is applied. Since we apply blur to the front image, so the edges of the front image, it is expanded. If I will click on shape tool, this is the boundary of our image. And now it is outside. So from this side, the edges of the image, it's blurred. It's very simple. We can select these two points by pressing control key. We can move them back just like this to make it sharp the edge. And this way also we can apply speed effect to our image by using motion blur. In the first scenario, we intersected the specific part. In the second, we clipped the area of the image. And in the third one, the entire image we blurred and then we applied transparency. That's all for now. I hope you enjoy this lesson and try to practice. Guys, if you like my video, please subscribe my channel and click on the bell button so you will always get notification once I will upload new video. Thank you.